Hey everybody, it's Ron and Joanne. Hope y'all have an awesome day. Gonna jump on here just for a quick little uh, video. Kind of about a little find that Joanne and I found at the river yesterday. We uh, went to an area that uh, I used to go back when I was a kid. And Joanne and I have been there a few times. We really love it there. And we're fixing to take the camper out, so that's going to be another video in the making. Um, as we were uh, walking around, she noticed and I noticed, and I reached out and picked it up, this interesting kind of rock. I've picked up rocks before in the past, and, and uh, one I did pick up uh, at another location... One of my uh, YouTube subscribers, uh, she jumped on. She says, uh, I know you like those uh, ceramic jar lids, but that rock that you picked up was Native American. It was called a fire starter. And so I started kind of watching out for things like that, and I've got that in my uh, curio cabinet. I'm fixing to add another piece. We picked up this stone. And Joanne, she calls it a turtle stone. She said, it looks like a turtle. It's so, so cute. I kept looking at it, and you see the dimensions. It's almost like perfect. So I got on, got Googling about an hour ago, and I turned around and Googled for a... Uh, oval rock with a protruding center ridge. It led me to uh, some stones called Native American Indian Discodal Game Stone. And I got looking at some of the shapes and I found one just like this. And the Native Americans had a game I guess it was something similar to probably hockey or probably a combination of hockey and shuffleboard. <laughs> but I guess, you know, they would shove it across the, the dirt. Um, the area where I found this, uh, I'm sure back then there wasn't that much sand. Actually, the water level was uh, a lot lower back in, uh, what, the 30s. A white TVA turned around and flooded a lot of the uh, Tennessee Valley Authority, you know, the land and stuff. And, uh, and so probably where we found this was a little bit further up from the, uh, from the water. And that's probably an area where they played their game. But that is really cool. That's just not a fluke that a stone was shaped like that. There was a reason. There was, uh, depending on the regions, there was different types of stones, different shapes. But uh, in the general area where we were at, I did see some stones shaped like this. So maybe the game of what the shape of the stone reflected the uh, region that the Indians were living at. That's a Native American. It's going in the curio cabinet for sure. <laughs> Ain't gonna be no painting on this. That's an Indian game stone. How about that? Hopefully we're gonna go back and uh, get looking around, see what else we can find. Just thought I'd share it with you. We weren't metal detecting, but we still found a historic piece. The Indians that used to ha handle that, and everybody walked over it for decades and not knowing what it was. And apparently the area where we found it, that was their game site. So who knows what else we can find there. Just thought we'd share that with you. Native American Indian Discordal Game Stone. Y'all have a blessed day. Joanne and I says bye. We'll see you soon.